Today we are going to be doing a flexi rock tutorial on natural blow out hair. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to wash my hair, blow dry, well I'm going to wash, condition, and blow dry my hair. And then I'm going to roll them up in flexi rods just to get the big volume bouncy curls that I normally do. So I have 11 flexi rods. We're going to do 9 purple and 2 grays. And I've got bobby pins all up in this bun. We are working on, oh, this is an old flexi rod, old, old set. So what I'm about to do now is I'm gonna go wash my hair and condition it, and then I'll be back on the screen to show y'all how I blow dry it. So after washing my hair, I do like to split it up into four workable sections. This method works best for me because it's easier to manage and handle my hair during the detangling process. While detangling, I do like to start from the ends and work my way up. Then I split the section into two to prepare for blow drying. When blow drying, I do have the temperature on warm and medium speed. drying I do start off with using a dimming brush and as my section of hair gets fuller and thicker I switch it over to a paddle brush So after all that blow drying, I'm now going to part my hair off to either a side or a middle part. And then again, I'm going to split my hair back up into four sections to get ready to roll it. So once I've applied all my products to my hair, I do love to smooth it out with a bristle brush. So then I'm gonna take my flexi rod and I'm going to wrap my ends around it first while smoothing it out. And as I'm rolling it upwards, I'm tucking it in, the hair in, it's like tucking and smoothing it and then rolling it up. So you're gonna tuck and roll, tuck and then roll.
So for each section, I have used around two to three flexi rods. I'm now going to wrap it up with a scarf, put my bonnet on and go to sleep. See y'all in the morning. So after air drying overnight, I'm now going to take down my flexi rods, unwinding them in the direction that the curl is supposed to go. I've got all the flexi rods out I then attempt to lay my edges and do my makeup and while I am doing all of that I like to let the curls kind of get a chance to air dry more without the roller when separating my curls I do like to put oil on my fingertips So after separating my curls, I like to use a wide tooth comb to add more volume. And this is my final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.